Hello Scorpio. How are you? Welcome to Mystic Moons. Scorpio, let's get a message for you. Is it upside down and all my cards were right side? I don't know. Yeah, I'll look the right side though. Scorpio, Seven of Swords. Who's stalking you, Scorpio? Who's scoping you out, Scorpio? Who's being sneaky, Scorpio? That Empress there, I want to say who's being levacious, Scorpio, but I won't. What is the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords is somebody wants to come back, Scorpio. Could be you in this energy too, Scorpio. Want to get back with a past person. Some wrong was done though, Scorpio, for temperance to be here and for this person to be making moves in Seven of Swords energy. You know, you only do Seven of Swords when the stakes are that high, the situation is that extreme. You know, you're driven to it. True, there are some people that thrive on it. But this is driven. I am on a Scorpio read, right? I will say all all of these energies actually speak quite strongly to me. Whether you're dealing with an Aquarius, uh, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or a Capricorn. So of course, there's an also have to be just in there. Sun are rising to be in their Venus, Venus seventh house. That sneaky card, it could be in their twelfth house, eighth house. Oh, do I even say ouch? Well, anyway, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. You have a love connection that did some kind of wrong, wants to get back with you. They don't want to be direct about it. It's also, too, in this energy, Scorpio, how can they make amends without losing ego? Without being revealing. we both on account of three say we like each other then it'll be okay right <laughs> as opposed to this person just being open this person doesn't want to be open doesn't want to reveal their vulnerabilities Scorpio have a person who would like to get back with you. They would like to. Very much so. Very much so. They're going to come and see the possibility of coming back in a stable manner. Scorpio, that's what they want. They want to come back in a stable manner. They see you as someone they can build with, they can work with, they can be with, they can take the garbage out with. Do both large things and mundane things together.
Scorpio, this is probably where the Seven of Swords energy comes in. They are definitely going to approach this energy is quite fast, however it's not direct Scorpio, it is fast, it is coming at you, it is not direct, this won't be direct. They could want to chit chat about things that don't really matter, at least initially. Scorpio, they want a way if you feel how you feel about the situation. They feel miserable about the situation. Do you feel the same? By the way, Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. This person wants to feel you out. They feel miserable about it, but I feel too, in this energy, they'll focus more on getting together and reading how you take their words of reconciliation as opposed to just coming out and saying how miserable they've been. I guess too, in the energy, we could also say this Hermit is also, are you still single? Are you lonely? They didn't feel lonely when they were with you, Scorpio. Do you feel the same? Scorpio. What an individual you have here. You have quite the character. Does this person view you as an antelope? A gazelle? A chicken running around in the yard and there's some hawk that is going to swoop down and get you? How could they view Scorpio that way? I don't know. <laughs> this person taking you lightly, Scorpio. Yes, they really, really, really do like you. I would also say in this energy, they love you. They want to do, you know, they want to definitely be with you, Scorpio. But it feels like they're taking you lightly. I guess they say they t they're taking you lightly, Scorpio, because this person wants to, it, it's like they'll make the first step, but they're waiting for you to make an actual move. This person doesn't want to sacrifice anything with their ego. It's like we can both stay on the count of three if we miss each other. But if you say that you're fine and if you're hanging out with other people, Scorpio, and you've moved on, this person's going to say, well, I'm doubly fine. I'm doing wonderful, too, when they're not. This person is desperate to get back with you. I say desperate. They want to get back at no cost to their ego. So I say it's quite the character. So much potential they see in your relationship, Scorpio. So much potential they see in you. 
Here's all the more reason why they don't want to reveal weakness to you. You know, the past elements here really aren't gone into so much in the fact that they regret, excuse me, they regret what, ha what happened and they're lonely. But... They're not lonely enough to want to shed their ego. It's a little kind of disturbing, isn't it? It is. see major signs you do have strong cancer strong Sagittarius Leo Aquarius followed then by some Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Of course, it gets into everybody, right? Strongest ones, though, are, I would say, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Aquarius. And Capricorn. also be in their seventh house, their Venus, their moon, places like that. With a sneaky card, it'd be the sneaky places too, sneaky planets. <laughs> Could be. Anyway. Till the next reading, Scorpio, I am wishing all of you the most beautiful day. Bye-bye.